What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, and we're going to talk about Microsoft Planner. So what is Planner? Planner is a tool from Microsoft that allows you to plan out a series of tasks. So think of it a little bit like a project or a project um, sort of Kanban board. It allows you to um, put things into buckets, so like uh, columns of of tasks that can group together, you can assign them to people, you can add attachments, you can add notes into it, um, you can see charts, you can see um, schedules and things like that. Um, let's look over to it and take a look. So we have the we have this Microsoft Planner in the web and we can see I've created a plan called uh, the Power Automate Plan. In here I have these things like I can add uh, to-do list items, so I can add an item in here I can set due dates, I can assign it to people, um, I can add buckets, so like columns of things that people will be adding in, um, I can see charts of how many um, tasks have been done, whether they're in progress or they're late, um, the priority of them, I can see the members in this group, um, I can see the schedule of when things are planned in for, either by month or week, I can see lists of things in here, um, I can see notebooks, files, I can export to Excel. I can do so. I can, you know, I, I can even add this to Outlook. So Microsoft Planner is a fantastic tool by Microsoft. Um, I've used it a lot on projects. Um, it gives a really nice visual representation to customers, so they can see um, how a project is doing, the tasks that are on, um, which tasks are assigned to you know us, which time tasks are assigned to them, um, where we're up to with each thing without people having to like constantly ask me or the project manager or if they, um, if they need to get some more information, stuff like that. You can also be embedded straight into Microsoft Teams, which again is another really cool, useful feature. But what we're gonna concentrate on in this video and the next series of videos is the Power Automate triggers and actions for Microsoft Planner. Um, this will then turbocharge that, um, that project and that automation around Microsoft Planner um, or around Planner and allow you to do so much more. So the first one we're going to look at today is when a new to do, uh, when a new task is created. So we'll flip back to Power Automate here. Uh, I'm not in a solution. I'm just in uh, Power Automate in my environment. Uh, I'm going to go up to New. I'm going to go down to Automated from Blank because that's what this, uh, that's what the triggers are for this. Uh, and in here, we can we can even see right at the start. There's already a um, an, an action a trigger right at the top here uh, that says when a task is created. So I can search in here and say um, just planner in here. It's going to pull back the three planner triggers that we got. Uh, and the one we're going to talk about today is this first one when a new task is created. So we'll call this planner flows. Planner flow. Uh, and we're going to select when a new task is created and we'll hit create. So it launches there and that's all good. Um, and we have two required inputs. We have group ID and we have plan ID. Group ID is it's kind of a little hard to explain. Uh, it's the sort of organization or the security group or the you know the, the grouping that you have access to. So in mine, I actually have access to um, certain security groups as well as like the, the default one for everyone. Uh, but what I found is when I clicked in here, it actually had the name of my group in here, the Power Automate Plan. So I choose that and then that's my group ID because that's the, the group that I selected it from. And then the plan ID, uh, it gives me a list of the plans that are available inside that organization. So. Um, you know, traditionally it would just be your uh, your organization's name, um, but this uh, allowed me to actually get the, the Power Automate plan in there. So that's what I'm going to choose. So click Power Automate plan there from the plan ID, and that is my trigger. So when that plan is created, or when, when an item on that plan is created, uh, I'm going to get no, we're going to, to do something from it. So we'll click on New Step, uh, and what we'll do is we'll just chuck in a quick Compose action. And what we'll do is we'll use something from the app there. So we can see we've got the dynamic content um, over here. So we can um, go through this and we have things like body, uh, assignments, uh, who's created by, you know, the plan ID, for instance, uh, the title. 
what we want to do is we want to choose title of the task. So when a new task is created, we're going to run this flow and we're just going to pull out the title of the task. So let's save it and let's test this. Click on save, click on task. I've never run this before, so I'm going to have to perform the trigger action. So we'll do that now. So we'll hit save and test. I will go over to my Power Automate Planner. Um, we can see here there's a button that says Add Task. And I can say um, this is the Power Automate Task created now. Uh, and we can hit Add Task. And then it adds it. And there it is. So I can click into this and I can see a load of other things. I can We, we have categories here with little, little sticky labels. We can add start and end times. We can say when things are created, when um, you know what the progress of them are. We can assign these people. There's so much you can do with Planner. Um, it's really great. But that's enough about this. Let's flip back to Power Automate. Power Automate says the flow ran successfully. Um, I think we're just waiting for the screen to load up here, um, and we can see how this has gotten on. Um, let's just. Uh, let's just refresh the page and then just go back. Yeah, let's go back uh, to my planner flow. Uh, this one here. See, so, yeah, there we go. Um, sometimes flow doesn't have a, is not too great with stuff like this. So um, when a new task is created, so we can see the Power Automate plan, uh, we can see that something's triggering it here. And then we can go to the Compose action and we can see the Power Automate task created now. And that is the name of the task that we've got up here. So there we have it. So when we create a new task, we can get notified of the task. So um, especially if you're using this to run projects, this might be handy for, say, project managers or project coordinators um, if they need to be aware of any new tasks that have been created, uh, especially in times of like UAT or, or bug fixing that people might be using. Uh, of course, you can use Planner for much more than just projects. Uh, you can use it to like coordinate um, events, uh, coordinate teams to, to do things. Um, there's there's a bunch of different uses for Planner. Uh, I just tend to use it a lot for projects. That's the kind of background I have on it. Uh, but as always, I'd like to know what you guys use this for. So let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you use Planner, uh, do you use Power Automate with it? Let me know uh, what you're doing with it. Um, if you don't, is it something you're going to do in the future? Uh, if you did like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. It would be appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.